Michigan opens up the 2014 NCAA tournament as a number two seed. The Wolverines star play this week in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Back on BTN Live as we welcome in a former Wolverine who knows a thing or two about the trip to the Final Four. Former Michigan man Jimmy King, who helped the Wolverines reach consecutive Final Fours, consecutive national title games. All right, Jimmy, as you look at this Michigan team overall, are they built for a deep run? They're definitely built for a deep run, particularly, you know, when you think about the NCAA tournament, it's always about matchups. And I think Michigan, uh, you know, just if you look at last year's team, they, they, match, they didn't match up well against um, the opponents or the opponents didn't match well against Michigan. So this year I think they caused that same problem, and particularly with the way that they play, you know, the style of play, the, the way that the offense is designed. Um, it's tough for teams to get a handle on that. And if you haven't practiced that and if you haven't seen it all year, it's tough to get a hold of how that off offense operates and where they get their shots. So for any team in this tournament that runs up against Michigan, um, it's going to be a matchup problem and a system problem for them. Whether you're a Michigan fan or an anti-Michigan fan, doesn't really matter who you root for. To watch Nick Stauskas play the game, specifically to watch him shoot, is a thing of beauty. Your take on this year's Big Ten Player of the Year? I like him a lot. Uh, Coach Bakari Alexander told me a couple of years ago to watch out for this kid. So this isn't something that's new to Nick or to uh, the coaching staff. Uh, I think it's surprising to you know the the mass public but uh nick is a great player if you look at him i mean he's an adept shooter uh his stroke is quick uh he has size and he could put it on the floor and i i think he's more athletic than most people give him credit for so with that combination you know um you, we've seen what he's done all year you know you could you can hang um you know some of those big games on him and he's up to the challenge Maybe this year's version of Jimmy King is Karis LeVert. He's long, he's rangy, plays that tough defense, can be a mismatch <laughs> nightmare on the offensive end. How big of a key do you think LeVert can be if Michigan is to get back to a Final Four for a second straight year? Well, LeVert is a big plus for this team. Um, he also causes, I think, a, a matchup because he's long as well, 6'6 six, six plus. Um, he could put it on the floor. He could shoot it, similar to uh, Nick. Uh, but probably more in depth than putting it on the floor and getting to the basket. I think he's underrated defensively. Uh, so he, he's a big cog to this team. Um, other than, you know, Nick and, and Karras, you know, Glenn Robinson III, I think is really one of the big keys. And his, everything that he does doesn't reflect uh, in the stat sheet. So, uh, he, he's a true team player. He's a guy who sacrificed a lot playing out of position, in my opinion. And really, you know, when I see people tweeting and I run into people in the street and they ask what's going on with Glenn, and I just say, well, you know, I'm not defending him. I just want to make it clear to them that he's playing out of position and he's sacrificing that, you know, his talent for the teams. Because I really think that he can also be a guy like Nick, a guy like Karras, but I think his role is different in his offense, and he plays it well so that he can, um, you know, succeed. Jimmy, I want your take on John Beeline. Here's a guy who has won at every single level, sometimes with less talented teams in the opposition. That was certainly the case when he was back at West Virginia. Yet he never seems to get the widespread national credit that a lot of other coaches do. What's your thought on Beeline, and why do you think he doesn't get the dap he deserves? Well, this year, you know, being coach of the year, I think is hopefully, you know, I guess his breakout year, if, if, you, if that's what we want to say. But he's been successful everywhere because of his system. You know, I, I saw how he taught the kids and I saw how he explained the reason why they did things within the system. And then, uh, you know, over the years they had success and guys bought in and we've got better players and more uh, higher caliber players. So, you know, we're seeing the success now. Uh, Jimmy, on the other side of the bracket, Michigan's in-state rival, Michigan State, perhaps underseeded as a number four, but they seem to be the most talented team in that entire region. And as you and I were speaking before we turned on the cameras, 
The Spartans seem to be playing with a pretty big chip on their shoulders, certainly were down in Indianapolis. What do you think about their prospects of getting to the Final Four? I, I like, again, you, you got to look at the coaching. You got to look at Izzo and his staff. You got to look at uh, their system. Uh, this is his 19th year, I believe, and they've been to the Final Four five or six times, which is incredible. Uh, he has a, a championship in there. So uh, you got to look at, you know, Michigan State being a real threat. They are undeceded, I think, uh, simply because they went through some uh, hardship through, throughout the season with some injuries, but now they're getting healthy. And the old cliche is, you know, the team that's really putting it together around this time of year that's really getting some momentum, you got to look out for. And Michigan State is one of those teams. And, you know, historically, if you look at the Spartans, they always get better as the year goes on. And right now, they're a very dangerous team out there. Finally, Jimmy, before we let you go, you've been to the ultimate destination multiple times as a college player, getting to the Final Four. So whether it's Michigan players or whether it's any other player who's listening, what kind of advice would you give to guys getting ready for the NCAA tournament? This is a childhood um, dream for most, most of us. And uh, if you're fortunate enough to to finally make it, make the best of it, and have fun. You know, that's what it's about. I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves because it's big time athletics. You know, you play in major universities and big colleges, and it's a lot of pressure on you. But at the same time, you know, again, you don't know if you'll experience this again. So you have to enjoy it and go out there and have fun. Words of wisdom from the king. Michigan great Jimmy King joining <laughs> us here on BTN Live. Jimmy, thanks so much for the time. Enjoy watching the tourney. Thank you. Thank you.